The peak of Freezy making his way to the octagon right now. There seems to be something wrong with the gloves of Murtaza, which has caused a slight delay here. But Ali Sina, what are your thoughts on the fight here? Rafiq Afridi versus Murtaza Kohistani, Pakido versus BFC Fight Club. What do we have here? Man, this is a big moment for Rafiq Afridi. He's fighting an international opponent on home soil. This fight is going to make a difference. If he comes out on top, he's going to claim his place in the Pakistani mixed martial arts scene as one of the top fighters again. And on the other hand, we have a young line coming in Murtaza who's coming in to take everything Rafiq Abidi is fighting for. He came to international soil to get the job done. And this is what we're going to be doing now. Well, whatever seemed to be the problem with the gloves of Murtaza seems to be have taken care of as he makes his way on the ramp now. Uh, excuse me. There could possibly still be a slight delay here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is IFT, the International Fighting Tournament. The first of its kind happening here live at Kala Shikaku SA Gardens. The action tonight here is brought to you by BMMAF and SA Group. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned as the action here is underway. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. This is Bach MMA. Expect the unexpected. If you're wondering, the issue was with the nails of Murtaza. They seemed to be longer than they should have been. But we're back here. He makes his way now to the ring first, as he is the blue corner. Following him will be Rafika Fridi. This contest is in the bantamweight division. This is the final fight of the undercard. Ali Sina, how are we feeling tonight? Man, fight's gonna be pumped up. But when things get delayed, I get a downer, if I'm being honest. But this is what the pro level is all about. These fighters should be ready. They should know all the 
rules. Clipping of your nails is a very basic thing. Matchup of Pakistan versus Afghanistan. The hatred, the skill level, everything closes when both these fighters get into the cage. And now transferring to Daniel Nasser Mirza. Ladies and gentlemen, your fifth fight of the evening is your featured prelim bout, and it is in the IFD Bantamweight Division. Five feet, ten inches tall. Official weight, 61 kilograms. Fighting out of Kabul, Afghanistan, with a professional record of two wins, one loss, representing the BFC top team, Murtaza, the Snow Tiger, go his daddy! And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He stands five feet, six inches tall. Official weight, 61 kilograms. Fighting out of Gunjar Khan, Pakistan. With a professional MMA record of seven wins, two losses, no draws. Representing Dean Bakino. Rafiq, the finisher, Afridi. Referee in charge of the cage, Osama Mebu. Wow, Alicina, it seems like Murtaza has been ready. He's been ready to go for ages. He can't wait to get his hands on Rafiq Afridi here. Man, both of these guys seem fired up in the wings. Both of them seem fired up right now. Murtaza in the blue corner. Freedy in the red corner. Round one begins, ladies and gentlemen. Like a shot of energy, Murtaza Kohistani is just so full of life in the cage. Nice low kicks there by Murtaza. Oh, ho, ho, too fast. Rafi clinching up. Underhooks belong to Murtaza Kohistani along with a very significant height advantage. At least Four inches given up on high hair by Rafiq Afridi. Yeah, man. Murtaza easily can take parts of his reach. He needs to, you know, uh, up close the distance. He needs to be in striking range. He needs to get out of the position. He needs to have a stronger base right now if he doesn't want to get taken down. Does a nice job of spreading out his legs there. Good job. Rafiq just so good with that left underhook hand. Has that right underhook. Could go for body lock. Not how you want to start the fight if you're working with Kohistani. Has that energy, the way he's oh. facing. A trip there. Rafiq, that is way too early to go into the grapple. That will wake you up, if nothing else. Rafiq doing a nice job of slowing the action down. Man, Murtaza is already breathing from his mouth. That's interesting. In the first minute of the first round. I mean, you have the finisher. Boxer by himself, exactly. Rafiq Afridi, putting that pressure. The Eddie of Pakistan. <laughs> Ooh, hard oh shots by Rafiq. Long shots. Rafiq looking like a new fighter here in this first round. Be careful Now you can see... Oh. Whoa! Beautiful wizard kick Yeah, but Rafiq Murtaza finds Murtaza himself on top. Beautiful wizard kick by Murtaza, but Rafiq does a nice ah, job. Wow! Murtaza really has some explosive power yeah. here we're seeing in the first round. That's going to go a long way if Rafiq's strategy is to grapple him. Murtaza, the way he's bouncing and exploding, that's a very, very good sign. Yeah, I was going to say, we were just watching the experience of Rafiq Afridi speaking in the clinch there with Murtaza, but Murtaza just surprised us all. Good dominant position. This is where Murtaza needs to be right now, man. You are watching the International Fighting Tournament 1. Rafiq Afridi almost got slammed on his head, but he oh, didn't do it. Oh, about that! Rafiq Afridi, ladies and gentlemen! The finish! Wow! Back. Once again, oh. with another finish! Look at him celebrate right wow. in front of us! Out of wow. nowhere! Back with redemption! 
out of nowhere. Going home with the W. Rafik Afidi, ladies and gentlemen. What a beautiful arm bar. Wow. That is a comeback fight, if anything. That is exactly what Rafik Afidi needed in his career. Wow. Beautifully wow. done by Rafik, the finisher of Afidi, man. Welcome back to Rafik Boxer. How are you, Afidi? Ladies and gentlemen, referee Osama Mehbubovan has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes 28 seconds of the very first round, declaring your winner by submission by an arm bar, Rafiq, the finisher!